This is uh, experiment five, activity three, more on properties of dry ice and carbon dioxide. So one thing, and as you go look at these videos, watch the whiteboard discussion, because in the whiteboard discussion, I'm gonna go over balanced chemical equations and things of that nature. But one thing that um, non-metal oxides do, so carbon is a non-metal, and a carbon dioxide therefore would be a non-metal oxide, is they react with water to form acids. Now the way we can test this, we have sodium hydroxide, which is a base, and we haven't done acid-base chemistry in the class yet, but you'll find acids react with bases. So I'm just gonna put a small amount, and following the instructions, it says add 10 drops. This is a chemical indicator, Chemical indicators are chemicals that turn color in the presence of various chemicals. There's a million different indicators. This particular one turns bright pink in the presence of a base. And you should see, you can see that it's, it's pink. Ah, there we go. Nice and pink there. Let's put a white piece of paper underneath it so you can see it just a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do is take a piece of dry ice and put it in here. And this is only pink because there's base. So this is dry ice, carbon dioxide, and water. So the reaction will be carbon dioxide and water, and watch. Notice at no time do my fingers leave my hands. All right, double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. You didn't think you were gonna get Shakespeare along with this. But what you can see is the, the color of the phenolphthalein has turned from pink to colorless, indicating that there is no longer any base in there. So something must have reacted with the base. And again, on the whiteboard, you'll see uh, the reaction that we're talking about. So that's it for this particular activity, which is activity number three.